In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Synology NAS as a TailScale exit node. This video builds on my previous TailScale videos where I covered how to set up TailScale on a Synology NAS, as well as how to set up a Synology NAS as a TailScale subnet router. I briefly go over those topics as I work my way through the setup in this video, but for a more thorough explanation of TailScale and subnet routers, check out those other videos which I'll link to in the description below. A TailScale exit node works like a full tunnel VPN where all internet traffic is routed through the exit node device. And if I build on the TailScale subnet router for my previous video, the setup without the exit node would look like this. Basically, all TailScale configured devices can access one another within the TailScale network. And with a subnet router enabled, devices within the advertised subnet are accessible as well. However, any non-tailscale internet traffic routes through the device's normal gateway or default route. When a tailscale exit node is configured and a tailscale device wants to make use of the exit node, all of its internet traffic routes through the exit node. This may be needed, for example, if you are connected to a public Wi-Fi or need access to services that are geo-restricted. To learn more about tailscale exit nodes, I'll leave a link to tailscale's exit node webpage in the description below. To set up TailScale on a Synology NAS, you'll need to install the application from the Package Center from within DSM. Once installed, open the application and log on to TailScale with an approved single sign-on service provider. I'll be using my Gmail account in this video, and once authorization is successful, I'll close the TailScale login window. Next, we'll need to use the command line to set up TailScale as an exit node, so I'll enable SSH as well. This is done from the control panel, then terminal and SNMP, where I'll enable the SSH service and click apply, then OK on this warning window. At this point, I'll SSH into my Synology NAS and issue this command to set up my Synology NAS as both an exit node and a subnet router so I can access other devices on the LAN that my Synology NAS is on. Make sure to change the subnet to what you use in your specific environment if you plan to create a subnet router as well. Or, if you'd like to set up your Synology NAS as only an exit node, you can remove the Advertise Routes section of the command. I'll run the command, and if everything goes well, I'll get an output of success. Next, I'll switch over to the TailScale website, and under the Machine section, we can see both my MacBook, which I set up earlier, and the Synology NAS that was just configured as an exit node and subnet router. To enable these routing features, we'll need to bring up the Edit Route Settings for the Synology NAS and toggle on both the subnet routes and exit node options. Note also that it is recommended to disable key expiry when setting up a TailScale node as either a subnet router or exit node. So I'll do that here by selecting the option to disable key expiry. What I've also found in my setup is that I needed to configure a DNS name server through TailScale. If I didn't, I would get this error message when trying to visit a website. I believe this is a quirk of my router, so you may or may not need to set up a DNS name server but I just wanted to include this step here for completeness. Normally, TailScale should use the DNS name server assigned to you by your DHCP server. To set up DNS through TailScale, I'll bring up the DNS section of the website and click on Add Name Server. Here, you can enter in a DNS name server that you may be running locally and that is accessible to TailScale, or enter in a public DNS name server like one from Cloudflare, which is what I've done here and click Save. I'll also toggle on the Override Local DNS switch as well. To learn more about DNS through TailScale, you can click on this link here, which I'll also link to in the description below. Next, for my MacBook, I'd like to specifically test that the TailScale exit node works properly. I'll do this by first checking what the external or public IP address my MacBook is on by connecting to the website ICANNHASIP.com, which displays the public IP address of the LAN I'm currently on. Now I'll bring up the TailScale application from the menu bar, 
select Exit Node, then switch from None to the Synology NAS that was set up as an Exit Node earlier. If I now reload the ICANNHASIP.com website, we can see that the IP address changed to what the Synology NAS TailScale Exit Node is using, indicating that all traffic is passing through the Exit Node as it should. Hopefully this video on setting up a TailScale Exit Node is beneficial to you in your network environment, and if it is, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to this channel and make sure to check out my other TailScale videos listed here on screen. Lastly, consider supporting my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.